Welcome on the news belt. Let's get into our first story now. And government's internal audit agency has identified a cabal uh, siphoning millions of CDs monthly from the public payroll under a dubious scheme that involves internal and external collaborators. Head of the agency, Dr. Eric Odrosai, says the group is behind undeserved claimants on the payroll and other fraudulent means to make money from the state. The Fair Wages and Salaries Commission began a program to clean the role and ensure that only legitimate employees were on it. Dr. Osai tells Joy News those behind the scheme will be unmasked. The implication is that government contribution to SNIT will be on the increase. In SNIT's own books, they may think that government owes them. But when you do the audit well, you realize the government does not owe them after all, or the amount should be lower. There are also instances where SNIT pensions increases unnecessarily because persons who are supposed to be on retirement will be on, they will still be in active service. So you get SNIT paying their pension and central government also paying their salary. There are instances where people have made themselves car contractors. They give out car documents for people to use to access car maintenance allowance. Once they get their names on the payroll, they send a document back and that is it. We are going after all such people. Please, if the vehicle does not belong to you, make sure you don't bring it for car maintenance allowance. DVLA will be working with DVLA for continual justification of ownership of vehicles to enable you to uh, get government car maintenance allowance. These are some of the issues in the system. And I think that if all of us, we work hand in hand to clean up the system, government compensation budget will be Today, it will come to the barest minimum, and probably going into the future, there will be no need for us to go to IMF because we will make a lot of savings on the government compensation budget and free some resources for other development projects. Well, Chief Executive of the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, Dr. Ben Arthur, says the exercise will sanitize the public sector payroll and identify the lapses and inequalities in the benefits and allowances of public sector workers. Uh, there's cooperation. Everybody who has read our law and knows what we do uh, definitely knows that we have the mandate. Maybe those who initially say they didn't have the mandate have revised their notes. So possibly the tape you played is, is, is an old one. It's an old one because under Section 3B of our, uh, of our Act, mandate us to do so. Of course, even ordinarily, in the natural, you are not able to simply go and say that you have fixed... Uh, uh, you have determined uh, benefits, allowances, you've developed salary structures, and therefore we are not interested in how it's being operationalized. So we are, we are able to do that. Mm -hmm. Of course, yesterday, we, the first point of call was with the internal audit agency. We signed an MOU with them for us to collaborate and do this jointly. But of course, it was needful that we also, you know, uh, go through their books to ensure that they are also having a very clean sheet. Other than that, that would be very problematic also joining us. Of course, we have also... And, and, and so you can say, Mr. Arthur, that uh, of all the agencies, at least the first agency, which is the Internal Audit Agency, has been cleared of all fraudulent activities. Is that the case? Definitely. Definitely. But the detailed mm -hmm. findings... Uh, we cannot put it in in the public uh, domain. Well, you can't tell we tell me you, you can't tell me what you found so far. But Mr. Afa, are you able to tell me what exactly you are looking for then? Uh, in fact, this exercise is a type of exercise that when you come across some anomalies, some of them are, might be genuine errors that you have to correct. Some of them are being misunderstanding of some of the conditions we are determining how it's even being interpreted. So those ones will even assist management to overcome some of these issues. But in general, you know we had done this on a pilot basis before even coming this far. We couldn't just wake up and say that uh, we are going to do a nationwide uh, payroll monitoring. We couldn't have done that. So we've done this, you know, bit and piece, mm -hmm. gather some information. We have a very clear idea as to what we're looking for and what we're going out there to, to do. Mm -hmm. But essentially, it's to ensure equity and to ensure that we have a very decent table. Those who are working for what they are earning must earn it. And those who are not doing the work but are paid,
possibly they might be ghost workers. Why should the one who is working be paid and the one who is also not even supposed to be an employee be paid equally? That one must be, must be you know, uh, cleared. Apart from that, you will found some cases elsewhere where somebody is misplaced on the structure. If the person is deserving of, let's say, level 22, it's possible the person is placed at 19. You must ensure that the appropriate level is given to the individual.